Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is October 1st. It is time to jump right into the October Magic Journaling Challenge. If you are new and just stumbling upon this video, it's just an October daily challenge that I've created for myself. You can find all the details in the description box down below. And so today's prompt, the first prompt, of this challenge is at summer's end and yeah that is the prompt honestly I did not know what to do on my page here for this prompt clearly it's no longer summer right and we're going into a different season and it's weird uh where I live in the northeast of the United States of America once autumn came around, it's like summer was gone, like weather-wise. It's been kind of cool. It's been, well, this weekend right now, it's a bit rainy because we're getting hit with like the remaining of whatever Hurricane Ian is now. Um, so it's very gloomy and very rainy. And honestly, I'm just having not the best day. And so this is me kind of sticking to my guns. I did say that I was going to do process videos for this challenge. And it kind of sucks that I don't feel motivated or I just don't feel in a very good mood. Um, I apologize if my tone of voice kind of reflects that. I just, I'm feeling really, I always say emotionally depleted, but it's not. I had a good cry this morning in the bath. But um, I just feel really sad. And I know the weather sort of affects that too. It kind of brings out all of all of that in me as well. But yeah, I just didn't, I really didn't know what to do. And so usually when I have no idea what to do, I usually pull out my paints. And so that's what I did here. Um, I have a little swatch book that has all my colors. And so I just kind of pulled out colors that sort of match the papers that I was using. So this spread had like two really bold patterns on it right they're both planner society papers and yeah so I just kind of pulled out ones that matched the colors of what I was going for I really wanted to use this little owl I think it's a bookmark it's I cut it out of a, a really old Daphne's diary magazine um, and I love the colors because the colors match with like my whole vibe that I'm going here with my journal and so yeah I just kind of took out all the paints that sort of were in that color scheme and I just went and just smeared and splattered and just all the things onto the page. For some reason, when I don't know what to do, I do that and, you know, just kind of go with it. I was trying to write out like at summer's end or summer and summer's coming to an end. I try to write out a few things over that paint and this paint, it's gouache. I think that's probably, that's all I use is gouache. Gouache usually dries pretty matte and I was trying to use a charcoal pencil, but I don't know. I think my charcoal pencil had a little bit of paint on it it was very hard to sort of write on the page and so I kind of go back and forth between the charcoal pencil and then a 9b regular like drawing pencil but I just kind of wanted to have the the prompt and like little sentiments that matched in the background just scribbled there but I think it just makes kind of like a hot mess of, of the background but that's completely fine the whole page is pretty much hot mess but I actually really like how it turned out so just to lighten everything up I did add a mini doily and then I glued down the owl and now I'm just splattering the entire page with my favorite titanium white Liquitex acrylic ink I love this ink I will link it down below it is my favorite I just like I like adding splatters to my pages and I particularly like white splatters. I don't know, it just kind of lightens up the page, at least for me. And so I'm just cleaning off my desk and I did clean off a little bit from the owl. Like I didn't want to have all of those splotches on its face. And yeah, so I, I knew that I was going to do like a little bit of journaling on the right hand side. I, I just didn't know what sort of journaling spot to use you know should I use some of my b6 paper that I shrunk down should I use um little pieces of ephemera that I had around should I use a journaling card should I use the little note cards in the end I think I just pulled out some scrap graph paper 
a regular grid paper, I tend to pull these out of different journals. So like I have an old Hobonichi that I don't use. And so I just kind of pull out that paper, that Tomo River paper, that beautiful paper, going to waste in a journal that I didn't even fill out, right? So I just kind of rip out the pages and just use like the part that's like blank grid. Some um, I have other journals that are a grid type that I just pull out the pages. Um, and sometimes I even print my own grid paper to pull out. So before I do that though, I think I gave up on trying to find a spot, but I end up just using plain grid paper. Um, I'm pulling out some stickers from Lace and Whimsy, and I think I place a few. I wanted to place one of those moths, um, but it just didn't work. So I ended up using one of my butterflies and a butterfly that I cut that I had in my little cut aparts. I did end up using this and so it is sticker from one of the Lace and Whimsy sheets. Um, this is the one that is like 100% that witch. I did use another sticker from that once I have my little journaling spot but um, I love Kathy's stickers. Um, I really like how she embellishes the sticker sheets with these tiny little star stickers. They're my absolute favorite. Um, so I put a whole bunch of them on this page. They just kind of, they kind of fill up space. That's what they are. They're, they, they're space fillers on the sticker sheet and they're perfect to fill up like those little spaces that need a little something on your your journal spread right so here I am digging through my basket I have a tiny little basket that has all these scraps in it and I know you can't really see but I'm just pulling out different pieces of graph paper and I wanted to use one that was kind of a white based I did pull out like a Hobonichi page but it's more like a cream I never really noticed that before but like all the planner study paper is very white based and so I kind of pulled out ones that were white based and there was two that I really like one was more like translucent it was like a very thin sort of Hobonichi like paper um, and the other one was one that I printed off on like 32 pound paper. I really like the translucent one. So all I do is I just glue it down right there. And that is going to be my little journaling spot. I do go ahead and add a sticker from, from that same Lace and Whimsy sheet that I says, I believe it says must be the season of the witch. And I use one that is that has like a purple background. I really love that because what I end up writing here is just a little reflection of, you know, I think I start off by saying that, you know, this time of year is bittersweet. You know, the changing of the seasons going from summer, which is ideally my favorite season, to autumn, which I think is like spring and autumn. They're kind of like my equally second favorite seasons. <laughs> my least favorite season is winter only because I'm I run cold and so when it's cold when it's even colder it's like unbearable. But yeah, I, I say that it's bittersweet because it's my favorite season is summer and I'm going into autumn and like I know what the change of season does to me. I I, I tend to be sad. So I suffer from sads. And just the 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 thought of another year coming to an end. I don't know what it is about that. Sometimes it's good and sometimes sometimes it's good like okay yeah I'm right I'm excited for the new year and sometimes it's like oh my god another year has passed. What have I done with my life? Sort of kind of thinking again I'm in a very kind of blah-ish like mental state right now and so everything is sort of has like a a little little dark tone over it right my thinking is just not right and I know it's not right it's just it's how I'm feeling right now and so I kind of go with that and like journal about that but at the same time I do write that I, I'm inviting change um, and I try to be all like pretty and stuff but it just didn't come out right but what I wanted to say was like I'm inviting change sort of like how the leaves change in the autumn and they basically you know, they change colors, right? But they basically die. They basically die and they go away for some time in order so that they can bloom again. And I kind of wanted to write that, but I didn't write that. That's not what came out. But like the, just that idea of, of change. And so I did say that I wanted to invite change in my life because I could use some change. I could use some very positive change. This year has been very very challenging for me personally on a personal emotional mental all the things right and yeah so that is 
my spread here, my very kind of emotional spread. You can tell my emotions kind of emoted onto this page. All I did was take my Felicity Jane stamp and I stamped out October 1st. And yeah, that is my spread. I really hope you're digging into the challenge and you're enjoying it. And just thanks so much for joining in and for watching. And hopefully tomorrow is a better day for me. And I will come back with another video then. Alright, thank you so much. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!